welcome back to my channel guys this is your boy Ali for the people that have already subscribed thank you very much and if you have not subscribed hit the subscribe button now it only takes a second so today as you could notice that I got a haircut now the barber kind of messed it up because I told him not to go too high on the fade and it seems like um, he just did not listen to me at all because it's completely a high fade that he gave me but that's fine I mean I think it looks good what do you guys think all right guys so today's video is going to be about how to navigate yourself around the Netgear Orbi app uh, this is kind of a video that is a second part to the router video that I made and this is pretty much the, all the things you could do from the app instead of having to log into the IP address or the admin control of the router you could just pretty much open the app and do almost 90% of the things that you could do on the router or let me just say like about 80% so this is what I'm gonna be showing you guys uh, I got a lot of requests about it so I feel like it's only right if I show you how to use the router it's only right I show you how to use the app so okay guys I'm gonna log into the Orbi app and this is what it looks like first it detects the routers and then it connects to them so once you're connected you're gonna see that your internet is online and how many satellites you have in my case I have one satellite so it shows one satellite on the top right then you got device manager security and then you got alerts on the top right where you see the bell so at this point I have no alerts or notifications and then you click on the router itself and then you'll see there are two nodes which is one is a router and the other one is a satellite so once you click on the routers itself it'll show you what kind of devices are connected to what um, is it 2.5 gigahertz network or is it 5 gigahertz network um, certain devices connect to one and the others to the other so it'll tell you exactly which uh, network the, each of the devices connected with and uh, you could pause that or you could uh, resume the device as you please now you're back to the main page and you're gonna click on device manager and device manager pretty much shows you all the devices that are connected to your routers that could be your satellite and your router so all the devices are connected to both of the nodes and if you're trying to understand a little bit more about how 2.5 2.4 and 5 gigahertz work you could click on the information and it'll kind of show you but you could pause or resume any of those devices as you wish and then you're gonna click on internet speed I think it would be a good test to run the speed right now to see what kind of data it gives back for upload and download So that shows your upload speed and now it's going to try to figure out the download. Now I have one gig fiber at home so the download speeds and the upload speeds are super fast. And this is Wi-Fi. My phone is not connected to any LAN network so I mean it's uh, I mean it's not hardwired to anything. It's connected directly to the Wi-Fi 
or be netgear router which is getting all the service from the AT&T router and uh, that's my speed test now you could check the history as well if you've done other speed tests in the past so we'll just go back to the main page at this point so you could click network map network map is going to show you the two devices that everything's connected to router and satellite and you could click each one of them and see what devices are connected to what and so on and so forth now you could get get here from a few different places as you could tell um, but if you go in details you could see what kind of connection type hardware type version firmware version serial number mac address ip address etc right um, so that's my satellite node Now, if you go down, you could go to Wi-Fi settings. And this is where your Wi-Fi setting is. You could change the password from here. You don't have to log in to the admin portal to do that. You could actually share your Wi-Fi stuff as well. So if you want to share your credentials or your login with somebody within the house through app, etc., you could do that. Okay, so you're gonna go back to the main page and click on guest Wi-Fi. Now guest Wi-Fi, pretty quickly, you could just enable it and create a guest SSID and a password. And you could give it a timeline. So let's say if you have guests over for two days, it could expire and close down after two days. Scroll back down. You're gonna click on traffic meter. This will show you the amount of data that's been transferred throughout your your devices your router and your satellite um, for whatever amount of time for months years etc you could do all that so then you're gonna click on settings which is on top left and then you're gonna see settings and then router settings you're gonna go in there and you could see all that information there you could even reboot the router from there or change your host name which is the router name and then you could again access your Wi-Fi and guest settings from here. And then if you want to add a satellite, you pretty much buy a satellite and click add satellite. And that'll kind of show you where to place it, which is pretty cool. So those are my two that are there, but not at those exact locations, obviously. So if you have a new setup, you could go to that and click on new setup and that's it guys I mean pretty much straightforward app user friendly there's not much you really have to do uh, all the naming conventions are pretty straightforward so you know uh, once you do have the router if you have any questions drop in the comments below I'll try to help you out as much as I can Till next time, see you guys.